Still no answers tonight for the hundreds of senior citizens who rely on an Alamo based nonprofit for assistance. Uh, earlier this week, we told you about the program shutting down without notice. Leslie Angulan in our Hidalgo County newsroom with an update. Leslie. What we know right now is Senior Outreach Community Services is closed until further notice due to money issues. The nonprofit board held a meeting today. We thought we could get some answers, but that didn't happen. Board members held their private meeting in the Alamo Public Library. We wanted to know what was discussed. No comment. Board attorney Armando Duran would not give us any information about the future of now closed Senior Outreach Community Services. Zero. As each board member left without saying a word, we were left without answers. So are the nonprofit's hundreds of clients. I would just would like for them to give us an answer, see what, what's going on, what's wrong. Are they going to keep up with the program or are they going to discontinue? Give us an honest answer. David Martinez gets assistance through the program. His caretaker, David Reyna, does everything from grocery shopping to lawn care to picking up prescriptions. I go with him every day, seven days a week, even though, you know, I only work five days. Reyna is one of about 200 volunteers who are no longer getting reimbursed $2.49 per mile spent driving for clients. This letter sent after the senior center's closure is the only explanation he's received. Reyna says this explanation isn't enough. Well, they need us. You know? I've been getting help for about four years since I had my open heart surgery. Martinez is nervous, not knowing how long he'll be able to get assistance. We told you last week that the Corporation for National Community Service is investigating the Alamo-based nonprofit for its use of grant money. A board member told us on the phone that Senior Community Outreach Services has not received reimbursements for the last three to four months. Count on Channel 5 to keep following this story. Reporting from our Hidalgo County Newsroom, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News at 6.